Oh, greetings. This is pretty much my final video on uh, Chapter 7, Unit 7, Things Going in Circles. This problem is about a plane doing a loop-de-loop. -loop. Well, this works out great. We've already talked about this, something going in circles. We've even established, I gave you a surefire equation for the top of a circle, the equation for the top of a circle, and do you remember that equation? For the top of a circle, I gave you T plus MG equals MV squared over R. And I even gave you an equation for the bottom of a circle. Because at the bottom of a circle, you've got a tension, but if you look, the weight is actually in opposition. The weight is not helping you to make this turn in the circle. So the equation for the bottom of a circle is T minus mg equals mv squared over r. And that's pretty much everything we needed because this one just wanted you to, the question says find the force of the seat on the pilot. Well, that's tension. It's my, if this pilot was attached by a giant rope getting slung in a circle, it would be the same problem. So the force of the seat is my tension. I'm just too lazy to rewrite the letter T, but that's what I'm looking for. It gave me everything you need. You, the physics is over. It's done. This problem is just you plugging in the numbers at this point. So this ends up being, let's see, plus for the top. And I will work the problem, but you can do this one without me for sure. 70 times 9.8 equals 70 times v square, 120 square over 550. And the only difference is at the bottom is this sign. It's the same problem, it's a different sign. So on the top one, we're going to end up working this out and subtracting mg. Let's just get mg. What is mg? 70 times 9.8. 686. So the mg is 686. So we're going to end up subtracting from 686 up here. And when we work it out down here, we're going to end up adding that 686 to the other side. So let's see what our two answers are. So 70 times 120 square equals divided by 550. 1832, so up here we've got equals 1830, well, 1833. So let's go 1833 minus 686. And so our answer up here is 1147 newtons. And then on the bottom part, we're going to end up adding. So it's still going to be 1833. So 1833 plus 686, 2519 on the bottom. And that's all there was to that one. Compared to some other things you've done, that was fairly easy. And at this point, all I can say is good luck. Oh, you can even see where I finished that one. Hey, sorry, I've just made like five, six videos in a row, so I'm a little burnt out. Anyway, my advice is good luck, and thank you for watching the Turdford channel. Bye now.